Hey everyone, today I'm going to do a little unboxing for a solar panel battery bank. I bought this from Amazon. I went through a lot and this was like the cheapest for the capacity that I got. This is the Aiden High Capacity 15,000 milliamp solar power bank. Uh, let's take a look inside and see what we got. Orange one comes with a micro USB cable, a little mini carabiner, some instructions and manuals. So I got the orange one because that was the cheapest one, and it's supposed to be a two watt solar panel. So I want to see how well it charge, and I guess it's charging now or something because the light was flashing. Uh, it comes with a one one amp USB charger and a two amp USB charger. I'll probably test that later. Oh, it even has a flashlight, six six LED flashlight here. And I don't know if you can see. There's a little indication of what it is. Adion, fifteen thousand milliamp, five volts, two amp max. And there's also a 5 volts, 2.1 amp. Okay, so it's 2 amps and 2.1 amp. Actually, no. It's output is a 2.1 amp. Max input is a 2 amp. 5 volts, so I can charge it with a 2 amp charger. But I'm going to be using this outside for my aquaponics system. So then it can just stay out there and supply power to the, to the water pump and probably just charge hopefully it charges fast enough in the daytime so it don't have to switch out or recharge this battery but I'm gonna go ahead and test it out real quick and I'll get back to you on that hey sorry about that I don't have a camera I've been recording all my videos on my phone but back to the battery bank right now it came fully charged it was at Full, full the full four four LED, so that was good that it, it came pre-charged, and I didn't have anything to test it out, so everything you know is approximation. You know, I don't know how accurate it is because I I was using an uh, app on the phone to measure the amperage. So on this is output two, and it was getting about 2.4 amp at 4.11 volts. And output one was getting at a 1.1 amp at 4.25 volts so those were just the max reading that I had and like I said this is from the app so I'm not sure how accurate it is but to me that looks pretty good and the build quality is not that bad it's just this hard plastic so I don't recommend dropping it or tossing it or anything like that it's supposed to be portable but the plastic doesn't seem that well it, it's strong but it's not like those silicone plastic where it can absorb some impact and you know I think overall this it's pretty good for what what it did right now but we'll see how well it'll, it'll deal with you know in the few weeks and months that I'm gonna put this outside letting it absorb the solar power and then charging it or powering up my water pump so I think that's it for now you know if you have any questions or want to know anything about this just uh, let me know in the comments and you know feel free to subscribe to keep updates on what I'm gonna do I'm just gonna do stuff around the house and everything like that maybe op uh, do some little small unboxing like this and I'll leave a link in the description on where I got this which one I got because this was only 18 bucks and I thought it was a deal for a 15,000 milliamp plus with a solar solar panel charger and you know I'll test out the solar panel later on like I said there's, I don't have any means to measure it so it's just gonna be off of like my guess and throughout the day how much charge I got out of it and everything so Remember, uh, go ahead and just subscribe if you want to see more videos. Thank you.